Hey, good morning everybody. Kilt here. It's morning of day 156. And we are just got dropped off at the Caribou Road gate. We got to shoot up here point four to the trailhead. And uh, continue pushing north. Today we are going up and over the Crocker Mountains. A pair of 4,000 footers. And then uh, we're going to go to the hostel. Stay the night. Get cleaned up, reset, and push north out of there tomorrow. From Main 27, which goes up and over the Bigelows. The Bigelow Mountains, which is pretty sure our last and final set of 4,000 footers. And then it is lowland rolly rollers and smooth sailing shooting straight all the way to Baxter to Mount Katahdin. Finish this thing out. We are under 200 miles and we are passing 2,000 today. So, a bunch of fun and interesting things. Skies are currently clear, hoping they hold out so we can get some beautiful views from the Crocker Mountains. Got about an eight and change day, so see how it goes. Again, hope you got that fresh cup of coffee. If not, top it off, sit back, relax, and we'll see you up trail. All right, climbing up the south side of Crocker Mountain. This is the rock slide. I haven't talked to you since we were on trail. So this is your first shot. That's the trail. They called it the first view of the rock slide working up south to Crocker Mountain. There's the view. Sun shining out on the valley floor. Just not shining on us yet. And you can see the colors are changing. Got no time. Here is our second view. Still going up the south side. All right, well, this is why we haven't norm I haven't normally been, and I'm tired of filming these big mountains, because you can see it's a whiteout. I'm winded, it's another 4,000 footer, and it's another absolute whiteout. What you've asked to see what they look like, so you're getting the crockers. If the Bigelow's tomorrow is the same way, I'm not doing it, so this is what you get. Here you go. I do apologize if I sound cranky, but I am cranky right now. North Crocker Mountain, elevation 4,168 feet with absolutely no view. Again, it's been the life journey of this trail. No views. One or two. We're in, still in the tree line. 
Yeah, and you can see. Highway, that way, I think. You can't see anything. Absolutely wide it out. Right. Temperatures are cool, but I'm hot and sweaty, so I'm getting cold. Slight breeze, you can hear it. But that's it. There's some little birds, and that's about it. That's your 4,000 foot mountain. The Crockers, south and north. We have not hit the 2,000 mark. We got to go another little bit down downhill to the next view, which is going to be a whiteout, but we'll show you that because it's 2,000. So we'll see you then. All right, here it is. Just down from the top. 2,000 miles Nobo. All right, screenshot gut hooks. And let's do it like we've done the other ones. Let's pass it together. Where are we at? There we are, everybody. 2,000. All right. Here we go, north. Boom. Just crossed 2,000 miles together. Wow. 293 .1. 193.1 to go. Um, I'm speechless. Thank you. Thank you for following along. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, it's still overcast. It's breezy. Starting to cool off and I'm still sweaty, so uh, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Got a fireball going so I can breathe. We're gonna take a picture and we're gonna get down off the back side of this uh, or the north side of this Crocker Mountain. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys at the bottom. Again, thanks for uh, coming along with me for this journey 2,000 miles. We're at the home stretch. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there before that stuff falls out that sky. All right, see y'all, Nobo. All right, we just finished the uh, Crockers. Nothing worthwhile filming on the way down until we get to the parking lot here. And, oh wait, either this is Ice Cream Man or this is Ranger uh, Wilderness Bob. All right, so that was the Ice Cream Man and I just had an ice cream sandwich from him. That's why he's known around the trail as the Ice Cream Man. So we'll come up here to the kiosk real quick. Just, uh, Welcome to moose country, it says. As a moose and a baby moose. And then tomorrow we are hitting the Bigelows. That is tomorrow's agenda there. Actually, I think we're gonna hold short of the peak at the shelter and then the following day we'll be pushing up over the top because in between the two shelters is above tree line and exposed exposed rock and there's nowhere to camp so and with no tree protection it's pretty dangerous but this here is the little kiosk nothing special the board's all knocked out and we're just waiting on our shuttle ride now to go to the hostel and uh, go from there and get showered cleaned up reset and push it on out So, um, when we get back to the hostel, I'll do a quick shot there. And I think I'm going to bring back the book for end of the day wrap up. So, people have been asking about it and uh, said they liked it. They uh, felt more part of the trail when I did it. So, I'm going to bring it back. So, stick around. Don't, don't tune out yet. When we get back to the hostel, we'll show you the hostel, pictures of the hostel. And uh, some other good shots that weren't washed out. You can still see it's clouded out, but we got below the mist line, so it's not wet no more. We'll do end of the day wrap up with the book. Like I said, it was like an 8.3, but we'll verify that here shortly. So, see y'all in a bit. Hey, evening everybody. Welcome back. Kilt here. I am sitting in the dining room of the Hostel of Maine, also known as Home. Oh, hang on. H-O-M-E, 
apostle of and then main abbreviated is me so home is kind of their their slogan and their logo so like i told you like you've asked we brought back the end of the day wrap up with the book so i'm just having some cheese and crackers and pepperonis uh tunis is making some baked potatoes and uh, we're just kind of relaxing and winding got showered laundry's going getting reset and ready for tomorrow we're going to push up over the bigelows so i'll get you into the book and show you the book show you what we did today and uh show you the mileage so here we go all right we started our morning out right there at the caribou valley gravel road and it was actually the gate is 0.4 below that so we had to walk up the gravel road for about 0.4 and that is mile 1996.6 where we started our morning and then once we got there we hung a right on the trail slowly started uh, climbing up and there's the the crocker cirque campsite we got a picture of and that's 0.2 off trail so obviously we didn't go see that and then we started our big climb and it was a fun morning got up south crocker mountain and it was widened out we had some views in the background but the actual summit was was a washout just got a picture at the top, then a small downhill, and then a large uphill of North Crocker Mountain. We got a picture of the sign up there, and I showed you guys the, the summit, and it was whited out. There was no view, nothing to see. And those both of those peaks were 4,040 feet and 4,228, so two 4,000 footers today, back to back. And then we had an, a lovely, just an enjoyable downhill, and actually it was probably one of the better downhills I've had in a long time. So coming down North Crocker Mountain, there wasn't anything to see whatsoever. It was just a long downhill. On our way down, just before that spring, we hit the 2,000 mile marker. And I showed you a clip of that on gut hooks and then the mile marker sticks on the ground. So we've come 2,000 miles north on the AT. All right, came all the way down, all the way down and finished off right there at Main 27 Trailhead which goes one way to Stratton, Maine, the other one to Bigelow, and we are over here at the Bigelow below the Sugarloaf Ski Resort at the Hostel of Maine. So mile marker is 2004.9. It is day 156, and we did 8.3 miles, and like I said, we are at Hostel of Maine, also known as home, and our elevation is 1391. So there's where we got and a quick real quick peek tomorrow of a short day we got a big climb big climb and right there to the horns pond lean to is our short goal of tomorrow all right so there's your uh, book and into the wrap up like i said it was a uh, quick and easy 8.3 it was harder going up today than it was a nice beautiful long gradual downhill Maine is known for its roots, and they got a lot of roots, but they're uh, got a lot of mud too. This, they're saying this is the wettest year for the hike for the trail yet. So, in all the years past, this is the wettest year for hikers. So, it's showing. It's really showing. Um, got the new shoes in. I didn't show you that. I got the new kilt. It is the uh, Aura Borealis. It's the one I started this year with, but it's a smaller size. That just got dropped off. Um, what else? I think that's it for significant stuff. Uh, tore my compression sleeves, so I got to get a new pair of those. I'm not sure where because there's not an outfitter for a while. Um, push it on out of here. We're looking to get to Caratunk. And then after that is uh, Monson, where Shaw's is at, Shaw's Hostel, and then the 100 Mile Wilderness. So we are in our last two week leg. So hope you're enjoying it and sticking around. Want to see the end? We're going to get up to Mount Katahdin. We're going to get on top of Mama K. So, uh, again, I want to say thank you all for tuning in and following along. Hope you're enjoying it. My name is Kilt. We are through hiking the Appalachian Trail. Go in Novo 2021. Y'all have a good night. You know what to do if you want to see more. Set that coffee pot to auto. Get your fresh cup of joe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the day. I'll see y'all first thing in the morning. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.